Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between pressure flushing and vacuum flushing in electro discharge machining. Flushing is the method of supplying fresh dielectric in the interelectrode gap and subsequently removing the existing dielectric. In pressure flushing, also called injection flushing, fresh dielectric liquid is pumped into the interelectrode gap, which automatically displaces the used contaminated dielectric. On the other hand, in vacuum flushing, also called suction flushing, the used dielectric is directly sucked from the interelectrode gap and is delivered for cleaning and recycling. So, let's look into the basic differences between pressure flushing and vacuum flushing in a tabular form. Difference number 1, in pressure flushing technique, pressurized clean dielectric fluid is pumped into the interelectrode gap, whereas, in vacuum flushing technique, Used dielectric fluid is sucked from the interelectrode gap. Number 2, pressure flushing technique works on fresh dielectric. It directly delivers fresh dielectric into interelectrode gap. Thus used dielectric is automatically displaced from interelectrode gap, whereas, vacuum flushing technique works on used dielectric. It directly sucks used dielectric from interelectrode gap, which results drawing of fresh dielectric into interelectrode gap. Number 3, in pressure flushing technique, undesired tapering effect is observed in external side walls owing to debris buildup and evacuation discharges at the downstream of dielectric flow, whereas, in vacuum flushing technique, tapering effect is observed either in internal side walls or at bottom surface. And, difference number 4, in pressure flushing technique, due to tapering effect, side gap does not remain constant. Thus no need to alter dielectric flow rate, whereas, in vacuum flushing technique, side gap usually remains fixed. Thus no adjustment in flow rate is required. 